Welcome to Northern Lights over Arkham. I'm JP and this time we're continuing Calvin Wright's run through the Circle London campaign and this time we're playing Union and Disillusion. Uh, last time uh, we did a side story, Calvin managed to complete the blob that ate everything and got 5 experience from that scenario. So let's see what we upgraded in the deck. I added another Charisma into the deck. Uh, Calvin has so many allies at the moment, so actually I did one mistake in the plot that did everything scenario that I had one too many allies in play at one point. But uh, I think I could have done the scenario, but it would have been a bit uh, difficult, more difficult if I wouldn't have made that mistake, but now I have the extra charisma, so Calvin can have three allies in play at the same time. Uh, the other two experience went into upgrading Peter Sylvester to level 2, and I also added uh, story cards, uh, story assets that have been gained throughout the campaign and the side story scenario. So there is uh, Lieutenant Wilson Stewart. And also the black book and puzzle box now listed in the deck list. But uh, other than that, the deck uh, remains quite the same. So that's enough of the deck. Uh, usually, uh, the circle tests in this scenario are quite difficult for a solo player because you don't have an, uh, an another player to help you uh, complete those circle tests. Uh, Calvin is a bit different because uh, with uh, his ability to have a lot of stats through his uh, damage and horror, uh, he may have quite high skill values for those circle tests. So at the moment we, uh, we are going with four mental and two physical trauma, so uh, Calvin might get uh, enough uh, skill values to complete those circle tests. Uh, we didn't do that well in the Wages of Sin scenario, so we start the game with four Doom in play. Uh, that is not that good because this scenario is really uh, taxing if you don't have the, enough time. So let's see how Calvin does. So let's get going. If you like my content, hit the subscribe button, so you don't miss anything. I have pre-shuffled the deck, so let's see our opening hand. Uh, we get a run for your life, a hiding spot, Yatol, Five of Pentacles, another hiding spot and Ward of Protection. Well, at least uh, we are keeping those two cards. The other four, I think I will mulligan. Yeah, I, I actually took one too many cards. <laughs> okay, well, that is one of my mulligan cards. Another Yotl and winning, winging it, so... That is our starting hand. I would have liked to see at least one weapon or another ally in the starting hand, but at least we got the Five of Pentacles right away, so we don't have to spend any resources to play it. And I think Ward of Protection is nice because there are some uh, really annoying treachery cards because there are those damn Whipper Wheels in this scenario that have the same uh, treachery cards that in the Dunwich Legacy Cycle which are quite nasty if you have a lot of horror, which we do. So, uh, I am actually missing my action token, so let's grab them quickly here. Okay. So first action, uh, I will play down Yotl. And second action, we will move. We move to the Forbidden Shore. 
and it is a freeze route location with one clue and circle action test willpower or uh, intellect tree to find the brazier by the wooden trail if you succeed you might uh, may light or unlight the brazier point that you must either lose one action or two resources and uh, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, we are siding with the coven, so the braziers are all already uh, lit, so we need to turn them off because we are fighting against the uh, Silver Twilight Lodge's ritual. Okay, so... And I forgot to put down my resources, so we spent two, uh, three for Yattle, and I think I will spend one play winging it so let's investigate for our last action uh, we are investigating four versus two now that we played the winging it so let's see hope we can grab this clue here and it's a zero so we get the clue and that is our turn uh, no enemies so we go to upkeep I draw one card and it's sharp vision and we gain one resource. So that is the first turn. Let's go to the second turn. So we add the fifth doom onto the agenda. The threshold is eight. Uh, the first encounter card is ancient evils. I think I'll save the um, word of protection for later. Or do I? Actually, uh, we're short on time, so I'll play the Word of Protection, so we ignore uh, that, and take one more horror. And now, uh, first action, I'll do the circle test here, so I'm testing, uh, let's test willpower, so willpower 5 against 3. And it's a skull, uh, it's a minus two. If this is a skill test during a circle action, reveal another token. Oh, damn it. And I already put that back in the back. Okay, so. Uh, hoping for a plus one or a zero. And it's an elder sign. Uh, elder thing, so it's a minus three. If this is skill test during a circle action and you fail, resolve each haunted ability on your location. Well, uh, I can't lose two resources, uh, so I lose an action. And I fail. Uh, well, not off to a good start. I think I'll uh, try it with the willpower test next for my last action. So I'm testing 6 versus 3. Uh, I commit Yattle, so I'm testing 6 versus 3. And it's Skull again, so now we need a minus 1 or better. <laughs> oh my god. And auto fail, so we fail. And that is our turn. Nothing was completed. No enemies, uh, we go to upkeep uh, and <laughs> uh, to add insult to injury, the mob enforcer finds us here, trying to find a, find a brazier and engages us. So this isn't starting well. Uh, I just may uh, soak some damage from the mob enforcer before uh, getting rid of him, so that I have a higher and agility but yeah that's our turn and we go to the next turn so we are at six doom of eight the encounter card is a uh, spectral raven prey lowest intellect color hunter retaliate after spectral raven engages you you must either resolve each haunted ability of location or spectral raven gets plus two fight and plus two evade until the end of the investigation phase so the haunted is lose one action or lose two resources uh, i'll lose the resources i think we need to 
kill of this bird and then maybe try the circle test again so first action I'll just hit the spectral raven uh, 2 versus 2 uh, actually yeah we just try to hit it well I could do circle test once Okay, I'll, I'll do it this way. So I'll do the circle test once. I'll take one damage and uh, one horror from the Spectral Raven and one damage from the Mobile Forcer. So I'm testing 6 versus 3 for the circle test. And it's a 0. So we finally get this damn brazier unlit. So now we can move into the unvisited isle from the forbidden shore but second action uh, I will uh, hit the spectra raven 4 versus 2 and it's a minus 2 we are not doing a circle test so we hit we do one damage and last action let's hit the raven again and it's a skull again, so we managed to kill off the bird, luckily, and we go to the enemy phase, so the mob enforcer hits us for one damage, and that's it, so we go to upkeep, we draw a card, we get a letter coat, and we gain one resource. So next turn, uh, we will try to, I think we'll have to evade the mob enforcer uh, it's too time consuming to kill it but yeah let's go to the next turn mm, we are at seven of eight doom and counter card is hopefully not an enemy so we get the obscuring dog and it attaches to our location and basically does nothing so first action I will uh, evade the mob enforcer. I'm evading 5 versus 3. Uh, I could. Uh, before that, I'll use Yato to discard one card. Well, <laughs> luckily, we discarded that, so I'm just double checking. Yeah, so we luckily discarded that. Uh, weakness and let's test the uh, evade so we are evading 5 versus 3 <laughs> minus 4 we evade again uh, 5 versus 3 and it's a 0 so we evade the mob enforcer and last action, we'll move up here. So we are at the Decay Willow. There are two clues on it. And the circle test. Uh, test intellect plus strength 9. Find the brazier inside the decaying tree. If you succeed, you might fail it or unleash the brazier. Won't that? Uh, choose and discard one card, one card from your hand, and it's a victory one point location. So uh, we are actually already uh, 11 against 9 for the skill test, so uh, for the circle test, so uh, looking good <laughs> with Calvin's stats uh, right now, but uh, we are low on uh, soak, so hopefully we are not taking that much damage. Uh, Enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep, uh, mob enforcer readies. And we gain one card, and it's a hiding spot and one resource. Okay. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are already at 8 Doom of 8. So, we advance the agenda. 
so stolen souls shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck check the missing person section of the campaign log because at least one character was taken by the watcher read the following uh, i think uh, yeah so penny white was pulled into the spectral realm so we don't have to read that we just shuffle the uh, encounter this card into the encounter deck and now we have a threshold of 10 crossroads of 8 uh, and the encounter card for this turn is ancient eagle okay <laughs> what else could it be so uh, first action I think I will investigate here I will commit sharp vision to the test. I'm investigating six nine verse four. It's a minus one, so because of sharp vision and we succeed by two or more, we gain two both of the clues from the location. Uh, next uh, I think I'll play the letter code, so we have a bit more soap for when the mob enforcer comes uh, trying to hit us. And the last action will be, oh yeah, uh, there should be a brazier here. The last action is the circle test. Uh, I'm testing 11 versus 9. And it's a plus 1. So we succeed in the bracer, uh, the circle test, and that is my turn. So enemy face, uh, this should be here. So the mob enforcer comes here, hits us. Uh, I'll take the damage on myself, and that is the enemy face. So we got upkeep. We gain another hiding spot and one resource. So. We almost have the resources to actually pay off the mob enforcer. I think I may do that next turn, but let's see. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, Doom of 10 here. Encounter card is uh, Psychopomp Song. Uh, search peril. Add Psychopomp Song to any investigator's threat area. And you would take one or more damage, take two additional damage and discard the bomb song. Uh, I'll put it here so I remember it better. Mm. Okay, um, I think first action. Oh, yeah, it searches, so let's take another one. Eager for death. Test willpower 2, increase this skill di test difficulty by 1 for each damage on you if you fail take 2 horror. Uh, well, uh, it's uh, not looking good. Uh, let's try to discard a car with Yato. It's a fire axe, uh, no help there. So I think Yato is probably dying. It's not that good. Uh, testing eight versus, uh, I mean six versus eight. Oh, it's damage. Yeah, well, still it, uh, it's six versus eight. It's a zero. We fail. Uh, we take to horror. So we don't have any way to avoid. It so we kill off Yato. That's unfortunate. Okay, uh, first action I will try to evade the mobile portion. I am evading six versus three. I'll commit one of the hiding spots to the test. So I'm evading. Six, seven, eight versus three 
heat, some minus two. Throw them off in for service, evade it. Uh, second action, I'll grab one resource. And last action, I parlay. And we pay off the mob enforcer. It's a bit slow, but it's easier that we don't have to deal with him every other turn. And that is our turn. Uh, no enemies, we call to upkeep. Uh, we draw trial by fire and gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, so uh, sorry about the bad quality of the audio for the last turn. Uh, my recording was stopped for the audio for last turn, unfortunately. But yeah, it's, it should be fine now. So let's continue. Uh, we add a third Doom of A10 there, uh, and counter card for this turn is marked for death. Uh, test Agility 2, increase the skill test difficulty by 1 for each horror. <laughs> yeah. If you fail, take... Oh my god. Yeah. Take 2 damage, so that would kill us. Uh, I have to commit all of my hand to the test, so I won't die. I don't have enough soap because of the uh, super pump song. I could be taking four damage, and I can only take two to stay alive. So uh, I'm testing. Nine versus eight. <laughs> Not very good odds, but it's a plus one. Ooh. So we managed to survive that. Thank God. Oh, this is so. I I need so bad. Well, first action. Uh, let's go to the other unvisited high location. It's a two shroud location with two clues, and the circle test is intellect plus agility nine. Uh, second action, I'll play winging it from my discard. Uh, it's a sh now shroud of one, and if we succeed, uh, we gain additional clue from the location. So testing six versus one. And it's a minus one, so we succeed. We get these clues. So oh, yeah, let's not forget about the pressure. And we shuffle wing it back into our deck. Hopefully we pull some eyes <laughs> next turn or something. So the damage and horror. And uh, last action, let's do the circle test here. So I'm testing 12 versus 9. So, minus 3 or better. And it's a 0. So, at least Calvin is acing the circle tests. Well, <laughs> but that's that's about it. Uh, that's all of our turn. Uh, no enemies, we go to upkeep. And please, let us get something. Well, not that useful. And one resource. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, and we add the fourth Doom of 10 to the agenda, and please don't be a test that involves our damage or horror. Uh, shapes in the Mist, uh, Search, Revelation, Resolve each Haunted ability. The Haunted ability is you must either discard an asset you control or take one damage. Well, uh, no choice there. We have to discard the letter code. Then it can search. Okay, terror in the night. Uh, will power four test. If you fail to terror in the night, you pay to the agenda deck. So we're testing six versus four. It's a minus four, but I don't fail by three or more, so it won't search. So it goes there. 
Okay, uh, I think we will advance the act deck now. So, missed returns, each investigator must randomly choose one set aside unvisited eye locations, put it into play. Okay. Let's pick that one. I'll put it here. Move into that one. And the circle test here is strength and agility 10, and we are at 12 for that too. <laughs> we have the reckless assault to guarantee we succeed in it. And uh, the haunted here is your next move action this round cost one additional action. But let's see what else. We sided with the coven so the brazier at that location is already hit. Uh, place a resource to the uh, Shuffle each of the story cards beneath the scenario card where there is only one and deal one at random for each investigator and fill out all of them have been dealt in play order resolve at each of those. So um, the story card is Penny Spade. Check the missing person section of the campaign log if Penny disappeared into the mist and you are on Penny's trail. Uh, so double checking. So pulled into the spectral realm. So that doesn't apply. It uh, Penny wasn't claimed by the spectres. Otherwise, you find Penny's apron lying on the ground, covered in blood. There is no other sign of her. So. That is that. And then we have our turn. So now we need two clues. <coughs> we already have them, but I think I will try to pass the circle test here. So I will commit the reckless assault. I'm testing uh, 16 versus 10. It's a skull. Uh, we reveal another token. So 16 uh, against 12 at the moment. So we pass. So uh, it's 16 versus 15. So we managed to pass that with the help of reckless assault. Okay. Uh, I think I don't have time to get these clues. I will just use these two clues I already have to advance. Uh, so we advance. We spawn the Spectral Watcher. It spawns in the Miskatonic River. And we put the watcher's gaze and the watcher's grasps, and the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. And then, oh, uh, yeah, we connect the location. With the other locations and put the set aside guy strap and the guy strap is connected to each of these but uh, we cannot move into the guy strap just yet and if the brazier there is lit okay then uh, we advance to Act 3. If each unvisited eye location in play is revealed and the location and brazier on each of them is unlit, advance, and they are. <coughs> so we advance straight away against the lodge. Reveal the guy's trap location. And it's a post trap location with one clue. And the circle test there is. Every 
uh, skill 20. And the haunted is take one damage and one horror. And check campaign log if Joseph is alive and well. Spawn to set aside Joseph either enemy at the guy's trap. We cannot parlay. Uh, Joseph was never heard from again or something like that, so we don't do that. And now we are at the broken right. If the Spectre Watcher is defeated at the guy's trap while the Brazier there is up with advance. Okay. First action. Uh, let's move into the guy's trap. Uh, second action. I'll draw a card. We get a Reckless Assault. Nice. And last action. I'll use the Reckless Assault and do the circle test here. So I'm testing. Uh, 28 versus 20 and it's a minus 3 so we unleash the brazier here and <laughs> that is that so all of the braziers are unleashed and now we just need to find a way to defeat the spectral watcher uh, and we need to do it at the guy's trap. So, enemy face, the spectral watcher moves here. We get the one card. It's <laughs> Cherry's keepsake. Nice to see in some, some form of soak. And one resource. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add the fifth tomb, so we have four more turns. I think we don't have enough time, but let's see. Encounter card is Crypt Chill. <laughs> well, uh, if I fail, I lose the Five of Pentacles and that's it. I really can't commit the Cherry Skip save because I need to play it if I succeed. So let's just see how this goes. Uh, testing 6 first 4. It's a 0, so we don't have to discard anything. First action, I'll play down the cherry steep sec. Second action, I'll draw a card. Third action, I'll grab a resource. Actually, I just draw another card. Okay, so now we have some soak. We might be able to do this if we survive to the next round. So that is our turn. Uh, Spectral Watcher runs here. And we draw one card, <laughs> nice to see a weapon, and we gain one resource. Okay. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 6 of 10 Doom and the Encounter parties. Up for death. Okay, I think this might be our end. I think we need to... Well, we need to try, uh, so I commit. Yeah, uh, nothing else I can do. I'll commit the uh, Lieutenant and Wilson Stewart to the test. I am testing uh, 7 versus 8, <laughs> so I need a plus 1. Come on, minus 2, so we fail. Okay, that's, that's the end of the game, unfortunately. So, uh, we take two damage, we don't have anything to soak it with, and we also take two more damage, so we take four damage, and we die out of uh, damage, so we get a uh, physical uh, physical trauma to Calvin. Uh, well, we should have gotten more, more soak down before uh, the end, but it went surprisingly well with the circle test, which are really hard for solo. But let's see. So we skip to resolution five. So we check the campaign log. Uh, the witch spell was broken. Uh, so Joseph disappeared into the mist, and two or more heretics were unleashed to Arkham. 
so we go to resolution 7 so we record Annette Mason is possessed by evil and we go to resolution 8 and we earn experience in the uh, we earn two experience from the locations and that's it okay well uh, that went well until the last turn uh, still a good try with Calvin uh, we have uh, four mental trauma and three physical trauma going into the what's the next scenario Ranking out in the clutches of chaos yeah so uh, that is that we were quite close in the end but no cigar so thanks for watching and until next time